So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a web app. If we click start here, and now we're gonna click create here because we're gonna build and host a web app with Azure Web Apps. And then we're gonna pick all our configurations here. So we need some kind of a subscription and a resource group. We can just create new and we just say resource group one, click OK, SDP one, um, and we're gonna publish code and it's gonna be .NET version six. LTS just stands for long-term support. And uh, this is where we pick what part of the world we're in. So if we pick North Europe, that is not too far away. And uh, this looks all right. And um, we can just click review and create. And here you should just check your information. So um, there is a very limited amount of resources uh, for this application, but that's all right. And we click create. And uh, you should be able to see that it is uh, in the process of deployment. And uh, right now we haven't submitted any code to this web app. Uh, so we need to go into our IDE and then we need to publish our code from there. So if we go into our program here and we right click API, this is of course in JetBrains Writer, we're gonna pick publish. And then we get this little menu where we can click Azure. And then we are prompted to install this plugin. So we just say yes, we'll install the plugin. And then we need to restart the IDE. And after a little bit of waiting, we're back and we're ready to publish to Azure. And now we need to use the web application we can uh, specify it on the portal. So what we need to do is we need to authorize ourselves. So we sign in with the Azure account that we created. The easiest way to log in is simply click settings. And here you have this menu, service authentication under Azure. You can always just search Azure and you should be able to find it here. And click sign in and click device login. Now once you've gone through the authentication, we click select on the Azure subscription and then we just save and now we are ready to publish. Publish to Azure and now we use it to use the existing uh, web application that we created. And here it is, we call it SDP1, click apply and click run. When you navigate to this site, this is what you should see. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild the database. So we have an endpoint called product slash rebuild DB because right now there are no tables inside of the database. We just sent them an empty db.db file because we're still using SQLite. So when we call this one and uh, we can now call product and what we get is an empty array here. So this empty array, we can start filling in some stuff. So if we open up Postman, and here we have Postman, if we insert the URL and we send it to JSON, this is just a random product I made. We can click Post. We get a 201 status code back from the server and there's an ID, so we know that this has been successfully inserted into the database. And we then go back to the application, refresh, and now we see that we have a working REST API on this URL.